I kind of a few nights ago woke up in the middle of the night in a full panic anxiety and I just had I felt so incredibly depressed I didn't want to stay in that vibration for too long but I knew obviously I had to feel it in order for it to get out. And to be honest, I talked to a few other friends and they were feeling the same way last week. So you didn't have the tools that you have now. Like hey guys, welcome to Self Care Sundays with Sophia, where we talk about self love, self growth, and everything in between. I actually don't have a name yet for today's video, so I'm just gonna film it. And this type of video is gonna be a little bit more intuitive because I just kinda wanna share how I was feeling this week. I did not have a good week. I'm sorry, neither did that person. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard that horn out there. Anyway, um, yeah, I kind of a few nights ago woke up in the middle of the night in a full panic anxiety and I just had, I felt so incredibly depressed and I had anxiety just kind of overthinking my life. I, I was up for a few hours and this, sometimes this happens where I'll just wake up for no reason, but this, I just felt really off. And I just wanna talk about how, you, generally I'm doing good in life and I'm happy and I'm really grateful, but sometimes random spurts of sadness and depression can just come out of nowhere. And it's really important to be kind to yourself during this time when this happens to you because that's where you can really go off track. And I actually felt even more anxiety about how I was feeling because I didn't want to stay in that vibration for too long, but I knew obviously I had to feel it in order for it to get out, but it just was not a good feeling. And I'm going to talk about how I kind of shook it off and how I'm doing now. So first things first, what I like to do once I've kind of felt my emotions and I'm at the point where I can start kind of talking myself through this is I look at the physical factors. Is my period coming? Uh, was I maybe drinking too much? Um, what's my sugar, caffeine intake, things like that. And what I will say last week is uh, last Friday, I drank way too much wine and I just had, I haven't been a hungover in so long. And this was like the hangover from hangovers and it really threw me off for quite a few days. So that was obviously number one. Number two is I've been trying to be more conscious of what I'm eating. So I've been eating less sugar and coming off of sugar, they say is like a drug. So that was also another thing. I'm like, okay, I'm eating too much sugar. And there were just, there's just a lot of things in my life right now, responsibility stuff that I need to get done. So I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and I just need to get shit done. So that's another, that's a really good thing you can do when you're feeling this way is get shit done. I kind of just felt like, I feel like I'm doing everything in right in my life as far as my mind power, going to the gym, being healthy, working on my career. I feel like I'm doing everything right, but I'm just not really seeing the results I want yet. And this has happened a few times and I know that's the period where you really gotta be patient because you can't just like manifest and work your life away and just expect for it to come. It's gonna come when the time is right. And that's the whole point of letting go and having trust in the universe that they have your best interest at heart. However, I kind of did, there's something to that. So I kind of had a realization. Um, this was actually more triggered because I've been trying to date more because I'm, I've been single for so long and I'm just hoping he'll just show up on my doorstep. Obviously I gotta get out there and go on dates and say yes to people. I think I was very much too all or nothing before. Now I'm a little bit more open, willing to give people a chance and I'm not being so tough. But the thing is, is I just feel like in life, I've always thought, oh, I've been such a good girl and I've been so innocent and that means I'm gonna get the dream relationship. I haven't, you know, snuck around or, you know, morally done things wrong, if you know what I mean, in the dating world. So my good karma is gonna come to me. And I've always kind of said that to myself, it's gonna be worth it in the end because I don't believe in settling for somebody just so that you can have a boyfriend or some girls like to use guys for stuff. I've always thought to myself, my good karma is gonna come and I'm gonna get the dream relationship, which I do still believe for myself. However, I'm not really putting one foot in front of the other. And that's kind of also, well, career too. I. I've been an influencer for 10 years. I, it used to be a lot easier. Now there's a lot more things you gotta do to stay relevant and you gotta post more. You gotta just put in as much work as much as you wanna grow. So I've also was feeling frustrated. Okay, I haven't really grown in a really long time. And that means I gotta step up and work. I can't just sit here and think, 
oh, my good karma, because I'm a good person, it's gonna come to me. No, you gotta get up and get the work done. So when I woke up in this panic, the main emotion I guess I felt was kind of like guilty that I haven't used the opportunities I've been given in my life and almost in a way like lost potential. I'm 32 now, I'm getting older and I'm aware of that. My whole life I've just felt so young and now I'm like, okay, it's getting there. And I'm kind of looking at my accomplishments and generally I, I feel great about myself. I've done a lot of good things. My self-talk is really good, but when I woke up in the middle of the night, I felt like complete lost opportunities, so much potential. I could have done this, I could have done that. So it was a very, not a great vibration to be in, but obviously I had to feel it for a reason. And I don't normally believe in regret, but I was feeling a bit regretful in a way. And the reason I don't believe in regret is because if I were to look back at something in life and think, oh, I should have taken this path when I took the easy way or whatever, that's not real because if you, if you had the same opportunity again, okay, sorry, if you were back in that spot, you didn't have the tools that you have now. Like, do you know what I mean? Now it's easy for me to say, like this 2024 version of Sophia to say, oh man, I would have done this. I wish I did that. No, because the reality is back then, that version of me was not ready, didn't want to, and it just wouldn't have happened. So regret is really not real. You can attract new opportunities that are, that are similar, but my point is you gotta move one foot in front of the other. Stop looking back at what you could have, should have done and start working and start working on creating new energy and new opportunities for yourself. You needed to gain the courage to be able to accomplish that thing that you're looking back at. You didn't have the courage back then. You were fearful and maybe you didn't even know that you wanted it at the time, but this version of you today knows that I wish I did that. Again, it's also easy for you to say that you should have done that because looking back, you, you know that it would have been all okay, but at the time you didn't know that it was gonna turn out okay. So it's easy for you now to be like, oh, well, I'm standing now. It would have been fun if I just did that. And you saw how the rest of the things played out. So it's very easy today to say I should have done that. So you can't be hard on yourself when you're feeling like you've lost out on potential or you should have taken certain opportunities when they were there because it's just not the case. Anyway, I actually am feeling a lot better today. So I wish I filmed this a few days ago, which I was planning on doing when I was really feeling down because it was really bad. Like I haven't felt a wave of depression like that in so long and I shouldn't play around with the word depression. I don't like when people just casually say, oh my gosh, I have anxiety, oh my gosh. I, I mean, it's fine, but at the same time, I understand and I know what true clinical depression is. I've had it, I've been on medication for it. Um, I know what real mental health is. So when I say I was feeling depressed that day, I'm not just loosely using that word. I probably should say I was feeling really down that day. And that's another thing I feel like in life, um, my levels, I, like I had mood swings this whole week. My, I was off the walls. And this reminds me of, because I, at one point I was diagnosed bipolar and I would have been, I, what I would have done is, oh, I'm having mood swings. Maybe I need to up my mood stabilizer. But in the case, considering how much, there's stuff, stuff I'm not even sharing too, the stuff that I was feeling the last week, anybody would feel a little scattered and off the wall. It's just how our body works. So don't think that you suddenly have a mental illness if you are, you know, for a few days feeling off. It's very natural to have highs and lows. And the best part about it is just, the best thing you can do is just talk yourself through it and you have to just feel it. There is gonna be a period where, like the stuff that I'm telling myself now, my self-talk is so much better, but in that moment, I talked to my mom, I talked to my best friend and I felt so much better. Um, but however, they were trying to make me feel better and I was finding things to be like, no, well, because of this, that, and that, like I was, I was trying to prove them wrong, which I think when I was actually really down, I always used to do that. Somebody would say something to like, give me, look at the bright side. And I would be like, nope, that's not true because of this, like half glass empty type of thing. So I was having a period where I was doing that and it was scary because I don't want to stay in that vibration. That's how people get really down is they don't catch themselves. I think it's very healthy to feel it, but if you don't catch yourself and you keep spiraling down, it is so not good. So being easy on yourself that you had that and just being able to look at 
Why was I feeling that way? What can I fix? And then come out on top. I actually feel so much more inspired because the last week I was feeling so scattered. I had so much stuff to do. Today I got so much stuff done. They always say in life, um, when something really bad happens, there's gonna be something good after. It's like a mountain. Like if you go down, then that means you gotta go back up again. Like that, it's just science. I'm not really explaining that really well. But my point is when you feel those low emotions, it's just gonna make the highs feel that much higher. And that's the fun of life. It's all about balance, right? Sometimes you have lows, sometimes you have highs. And the key is not being hard on yourself when you have those lows. Back to what I was saying about the karma thing, thinking that because I'm a good person, good things will come to me. The, the universe does not care, sorry, the law of attraction does not care if you're a good person or not. If you believe that you deserve certain things, they will come to you. It's just how our subconscious mind works. But then also on the other hand, you can't just wish and hope for it to appear in your doorstep. You have to put one foot in front of the other so that there's a possibility for these good things to come to you. You gotta stop having the lottery mindset hoping that just one day something will come to you and everything's done and oh my gosh, it all works out. And that's also, you're not being present because you're thinking about the future. When that good thing happens, I'll be set for life. That's so not healthy and not true because you're still gonna be the same person. The emotions are gonna be there. Yes, you might have a little bit of a rush. It's like in life when you're generally not really doing well and something good does happen to you or you go shopping, for example, you get that little like dopamine hit and then it fades away and you go back to how you feel every day, all day. Your life isn't gonna be good just because you're a good person. If you have good morals, yes, generally you'll have a nice life. However, if you don't, get out there and make stuff happen for you. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna see good things in your life. Humans crave accomplishments. So if you're not working towards something and you're just kind of like existing and floating through life, of course your life's gonna be really dull. You have to have either a goal, a dream, some type of passion, something that you're building or working towards. And if let's say you're unemployed right now or you don't have any kids and nothing that you're kind of building and working towards, you have to brainstorm and think of what do you really care about? And if you feel like you care about nothing and you just wanna sit on the couch all day, it could be a sign of depression. So I would suggest getting into self-help. How can you figure out how to get to know yourself better and be more intuitive and listen to yourself because only you know what you're truly passionate about. And to be honest, I've had majority of my life, I've felt like, oh my gosh, I don't have that thing. Like, what's my thing? But then at the same time, you could be, okay, well, you're the photos girl, you're the beauty girl, you're the fitness girl as of now. But you know what I mean? But generally, my whole life, I haven't felt like I had that thing. And that's okay. There's, like, I, I would compare myself, okay, let's say for an athlete, okay, they play tennis, their whole life has been eat, sleep, tennis. That's kind of like a part of their identity. And people that have that, that's amazing. However, for me, I know that I hope I find that thing that I'm super passionate about that I could do every day, all day, but I think I just kind of like variety and that's okay. I, I have certain things that I like, but I don't really have a main thing that I can really excel and work hard at. Maybe it'll come, maybe not, but if you're like me and you don't really have a number one thing that you could do every day, all day, there's nothing wrong with that. And it also means you can just keep soul searching Everybody is built different. Not everybody is meant to do stuff like that. Yes, we want to excel and be the best at certain things, but if the whole point of life to be happy is love. So if you don't love that thing, don't feel like you have to work hard and do it because people are only successful at things that they really love and enjoy doing. If you can tell they're just doing it because they feel like they have to, it's like, how when parents force their kids, you gotta go to law school, you gotta become a doctor and they don't really enjoy it, they're not gonna be happy in life because they don't really truly love that profession. They've just been fed their whole life that you're supposed to do that, that's the right thing to do. And hey, some people can live like that. They can just work a job that they hate, put in the eight hour shift, go home and live their life. But it's harder to grow and thrive that way because if you're not passionate about it and if you don't think about it in your spare time, that tells me you don't really care about that thing. Even if you don't have that thing like I've been talking about, bottom line is you have to feel like you have some sort of accomplishment every day. Even if that's just making yourself breakfast, making your bed, 
to be honest, the small wins are low key better than the big wins because you get those little hits, those little rushes of endorphin. When you have the big win, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming and so amazing, but it's gonna run away quicker. So if you have those little wins in life, you're gonna be more generally happy. Bottom line is when you're feeling down, turn to a friend. If you have a family member or a friend, I can't tell you how much that helps. And working on just being able to relax and let go. I was able to flip this little slump so much faster than maybe my younger self would have because I think my younger self would have been a lot more stubborn and holding on to the reason I'm feeling upset. Whereas a few days ago, I, I felt it, I let it go through me and I was able to release it. And I wasn't feeling so stubborn and hanging on to well, this is what I'm feeling, so that's right. And to be honest, I talked to a few other friends and they were feeling the same way last week. So it's just a reminder that everybody sometimes feels down. So if you are currently in the pit of that, I'm so sorry, but you are gonna get through it as long as you choose to use the tools to talk yourself through it and you can be done with it faster and you can learn from it too. Times like this, it's really good to journal and write out the emotions so that later when you're feeling back to normal, you can dissect it and see what the main emotion was and work towards that. Hey, if I feel like I'm not living up to my full potential or I've lost opportunities, that's just gonna give me a little bit of a motivation to push through in life and work harder, look for those opportunities, and now that I'm stronger and have more courage, actually go through with them and do new things in life, enjoy, get out there, start dating career-wise, start working harder. And if that's what is gonna make you happy, then do that. I'm gonna wrap this up because I have a dinner to go to and I'm just generally feeling good. So I'm really glad that I was able to talk myself through it. I'm so glad that I have a good support system in my life. The main thing is just gratitude here. And yeah, so, sending you lots of love if you're feeling this way or in the future if you ever feel this way just know that you're gonna get through it and i love you and it's all gonna be okay thank you so much for watching self-care sundays with sophia i'm sophia pearson you can find me on all my social medias at sophia pearson bye we'll see you guys next time